Hello everyone, it's Ed here from Ed Learns to Engrave, and in today's video we'll be talking about what kinds of materials we can use for glass painting. Subscribe for more. So to begin with, we're going to need a piece of glass, much like this one. Now as you can see, I've already divided this up into different cells, Tamiya Clear and Tamiya Flat. These are two different types of Tamiya paint. Now, each cell here will have a different set of paints, so red, green and blue. And I will be dividing them up into six, which will allow me to do different kinds of glass-based effect. And hopefully it will allow me to show you the difference between the two. And, with it all, if all goes well, it will allow me to show you which is the most effective. Now, we'll discuss the paints. So, to begin with, I planned on two paints and one set of marker pens. Now, marker pens are a little bit odd, but we're going to go with it because, who knows, it might stick well with the glass. So, to begin with, we have our home roll paints. This one is a green paint, and the other one's a red paint. We have our Bic marker pens. Poundland is a wonderful place at times. It's a very fine tip, so it should give a good result. And here we have our Tamiya paints. Now, these particular paints are flat colours, which is the more solid of the Tamiya colours. Pine green, uh, sorry, park green is technically a flat colour. It will do for our purposes in this video. Now, the clear colours are very effective, especially when you utilise a silvery undercoat. I'll show you an example in a moment. But as you can see here, green, red and blue will be the colours that I'll be utilising. So, as I said, this is an example of how to use clear colours. Now, I used a silver base coat, as you can see here, to underlie this RX78-2 shield. Now, I used the clear Tamiya coat on it. I've been told I probably should have thinned it down a little bit, but we shall get to that in a moment. Thank you very much for watching this video, ladies and gentlemen. Subscribe for more, and I can't wait to see you on part two of Glass Painting for Beginners.